police pursuit that put thousands of South Florida drivers in harm's way during rush hour traffic tonight. We know why the people in that car did not want to be caught. CBS 4's Kerry Codd is live in Miami with new details. Kerry? That's right. The U.S. Marshal's Office says two men in that car are wanted for a murder in New York. And this all came to an end here on the Miami, uh, the bridge over the Miami River. Just after 5 o'clock today, the U.S. Marshal's Office says these men went on a miles long chase through Miami. When they encountered some traffic here, they realized they needed to stop their car and get out and run, but they were surrounded by the police. Okay, we're going to interrupt that story because we have some breaking news to tell you about. This is a police pursuit on the MacArthur Causeway. This the is pursuit unfolded live on CBS 4 News right Monday afternoon. Police. Yeah, we're getting some information now from Miami police. They're actually going westbound. They're just right now into downtown Miami. The driver of a white BMW raced through intersections, drove on the wrong side of the street, drove on the shoulder and curbs, all with police in pursuit. The U.S. Marshal Service said two men in the car were wanted for a murder that occurred earlier this month in Queens, New York. They are high-level gang members uh, in New York. That's Manny Puri, assistant chief with the U.S. Marshals. He said the Miami office got a tip Monday from New York about murder suspects Brandon Lee and Krishan Hedge being in Miami. Marshall set up surveillance, followed the men, called in reinforcements, and tried to pull them over. They were attempted to stop the vehicle, and that's when the chase ensued. A chase that lasted for miles during rush hour, with police chopper following from above until Lee and Hedge arrived at Northwest 27th Avenue and Northwest 20th Street. The vehicle took off um, at a high rate of speed. Uh, thank God it was rush hour, and after the long chase, the actual rush hour boxed them in. They had nowhere to go. That's when the marshals say they were able to bring the men into custody. The marshals would not disclose details about the murder in New York, only saying that getting these men locked up means our community is now a bit safer. These are two violent individuals that we were lucky to take off the street with no further harm being done and nobody was injured in the, uh, in the chase. And the U.S. Marshal's Office says it's possible that these men were also involved in a hit and run crash a few days ago with an off-duty Miami firefighter. The two men are expected to stand before a judge in Miami tomorrow. Live in Miami, Kerry Codd, CBS 4 News Tonight.